Good evening, and welcome back to episode 43 of season 9 of Factory Town Pipe Mania, where we built this last time. And it still needs finishing. But it should be finished this episode very easy, because this is going to be a lot easier to do than I thought. I have done a few other things. Uh, one, I have put the mana crystals into the enchanters, so they have done their thing. They're all done. Uh, all of them are filled up with books, because I've also added three wells to each one of the lumber mills because i forgot lumber mills need water to make paper so yeah we've done that we've done that and i left the game running for i'm not entirely sure how long um probably almost two hours um because i intended to record this episode and then started watching something and i was like oh yeah i was doing this so let's do this we only, th we only need to add the fire ethers which are made in elemental refinery uh, but to do that, we need two things. One, we need mana crystals, which are easy enough done. Uh, two, we need fire stone. To get fire stone, you need to find it in the world. There it is. You just need to find it right now in the world. I also need to leave space this side, because we want to be planting fire stone. That's something that's coming way later, but it's something we want to do. So, so over here, we have fire stone we can mine which is awesome we also have some firestone over there in the distance and over there in the distance which is great we have earth we have air we have a little bit of water there so water is a bit of a problem i think air is a bit of a problem there's some air there as well airstone there earth and earth okay so we're okay we're okay but we need to ship over the firestone to this area to get it going first so uh, let's do that and it's going to be that easy we just go mine just like the seagulls and we put the mine in and i'm going to put it there's good enough um, and uh, these mine quite slowly if memory serves uh yeah it takes like six seconds uh, but they do mine four at a time so it's not so bad and remember we're trying to get this running at one a second so it needs four a second so we need to get this running at six speed we can have workers do it to get it running at six speed like that but on because uh, in mines workers um, are, are good for that we do have enough workers so i think i'm going to do that for a minute i've been doing coins everywhere my yellow coins are really taking a hit so we need to fix that as well uh we really do need to do something about that. Um, so yeah, let's let's do this here. Let's do this here. I do apologise if I keep stopping and, and uh, doing. I don't I don't feel fantastically well, uh, so uh, I keep having to stop to. Uh, I I feel I feel sick. I feel sick. Let's just go for that. And uh, yeah, I have to uh, stop every now and then to be like, no, don't do that. Don't 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 don't. I'm there. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Just in case you wanted to know, you know, yeah, yeah, I thought you might be interested in that. Um, I'm fine, don't worry. Fine. Uh, so let's put in a couple of these here. Blah, 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 blah. And you are going to output uh, quite ether. Yeah. Like that. Uh, you need the recharging things, which we're just going to yoink from here because we can. that way copy I'm just gonna literally paste them above yeah two three I should probably turn them around but I'm not going to do that because they're done um, and then we need to put in the uh, mana crystals for them which are as easy as just doing this and, uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. there's the mana crystals can go in there and then they can start getting used and recharged in pieces uh, okay, so then we just need mana pipes coming from here over. And I'm just going to do it at this height, which is kind of awkward because that's too low for us to do that. So we can't run along here. But I kind of want to come up and over and in through the side. So, let's do this, shall we? Let's come out by one. Let's go up by 15. And I can count that. I've, I've, I've been doing things like one, two, three, four, five, six, and I've realized. In the bottom left corner 
it tells you how many omni pipes you're spending. So 10 is going to be 10 squares. So 15 tells me it goes 15 squares. So I'm going to pick a random number, which is 15. I'm going to pause it just in case it's wrong, so we don't have to worry about ruining uh, or wasting all of those omni pipes. And it looks absolutely fine. It's going to come along to somewhere here, but I'm not exactly sure where. Let's change to this side here. Come off of here and come this way. See where it needs to come in. It needs to come in about here somewhere. Like that. Good. Good to me. Let's move these back. Because they're quite close by, so we might as well just bump, bump, and bump. And there we go. And we can then just remove all of these like that. Okay. Then we're going to copy this. I'm going to bring it down. Almost to the floor. I want to go one above the floor. I think I go one above. Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, you knew what save was going to do, I think. And then we're going to go uh, you into there, you into there, you into there. The splitter here, which I believe will work. Now, splitters only split in three directions, and they only split on the flat. They don't split up and down. So I don't know what happens if I put a pipe below this. I don't know if stuff would go down the pipe, or whether it would go left and right, and then go down the pipe afterwards. I've never tried that. I kind of want to try that. Let's give it a try, shall we? Let's go down and along like this. We just had a bit of pipe there. So it's coming down. It's going to the splitter. The splitter's going to split three way, and then we'll see what happens. Because I don't know. I'm pause. And it's going to take a while to get here. And through the magic of video editing, here comes the fire stone. Zoom. So what's going to happen here? Now it should split left, right. It goes left, right, straight, and left, right, straight. So the splitter is splitting everywhere it can go. And it won't send it down because it has no way of doing that. And there's no way you can take a splitter and rotate it. You can rotate it in that axis, but you can't rotate it up and down. So it will never go down unless it's full. Now that's interesting to know. That is, that is quite interesting to know. It will never go down unless all three of these pipes are full. And then, obviously, it will go down. So, But that is, that is interesting to note because that may come in useful. I, I don't know when, but there may be a point where, you know, it can come down. It can, it can split between these three and then come down and come along to something else if you, if you have something just not of use. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, these are now... Getting the stuff they need. And... And I am very confused. Very, very confused. Ah, ah, not confused. This has 10 workers in it. These do not. I've only just built them. I didn't add the 10 workers to them. Why is one going so much faster than the others? Why, why, why is one not getting the resources the other one is? Yep, it's my fault. Uh, so we also need to recharge one mana crystal every uh, second. So this needs to go up to six. Okay, and pause. Let it go. Let's see what happens here now. Boom, there you go. Now these make four from four. So you're not losing, it just uses one mana crystal, which gets recharged. Um, and from the four fire stones, it uses four, it creates four ether. So it is a one-to-one, -one, it's just the recipe takes so long to do it. And obviously this uses four ether to make one fire knowledge book, which is fine, but we are full of fire knowledge. And then you are full of fire knowledge, or will be, and you are full of fire knowledge very, very soon. Awesome. Now we know one mage tower at eight speed is thirty-two houses. No, one mage, yeah, one mage tower at eight speed is thirty-two houses. That means thirty-two, sixty-four. We're on seventy. Wow. Six. No, no, thirty-two. Sixty-four. Ninety-six. We're on ninety-six houses. 
I, 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 my brain went 70. No, that's not right. And no. 96 hours. So we need three more to do this here. But we don't because we want to sell these to get some research going. And then once we get some research going, we can do some other things. Let's have a quick look at our research and see what we're doing here just for a moment. We want to unlock firepower, which gives us access to the fire temple and the magic rail. Um, the fire shrine, magic ring. Uh, so unlocks the fire shrine, strength trail book and fire ring, which are very nice things. Uh, but also gives us uh, access to the fire temple, magic rail, and fire books. Now we need magic rail for this. Now we need to do all the magic, all the so. So what I want to do is I want to copy this here, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then here. So we need to double this, and then double it again, four times. So we need eight of these in total. Now I don't know if we can just copy this in one hit and be done with it. I don't know if that's a thing that would work or not. Um, also, these wells, um, I should probably put somewhere else, like maybe on the end here and come in so it's all in line because now I've messed up the, uh, the actual alignment and stuff. We can move the well. The wells are not difficult to be moved at all, especially when you consider the wells use underground fluid pipes and that's fine. Fluid pipes don't at all. We could also just get rid of the trees, put them in here with the trees. Leave them on the end for the minute. We can always put them down here or wherever. But um, yeah. So okay. So what we want to do is we want to basically copy everything along here. And move it down more. Everything up to like here. And, and paste it somewhere else. So I'm going to try. I need to see how many, how much resources we need. So if I do this. So we're going to go to. I'll go to. And I will. I will. No. No. We'll go to here. I can't copy that pipe. Because if I copy that pipe. It won't let me. And also I can't copy the road on the end. Which I have done. Because it won't let me put that in. Because of the road here. So I need to try this again. And copy from that point. All the way along to one before this pipe in the air because when you copy even though it's the same item you're placing in that slot if i was to copy this pipe in the air here if i try to place it on top of it it would just go no copy and we can paste it here now i could leave a gap between the two which means i can get the wells in but i don't want to i want to put the wells on the end so let's do that now let's do that now. let's put the wells on the end just be done with it this is how it should be one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go underground and fix this. Basically, delete all that. I'm not fussed about them because they are just pipes of uh, the food pipes. So, and uh, fluid pipes don't affect. Um, they're on their own layer, is what I'm trying to say. I believe as well, if I actually uh, click on this, no, I can't do that. Um, if I copy this here, mouse over fluid, uh, and we look down the list, ethers are considered a liquid. It has a remedy and thing, so. Hmm. Um, so if ethers are considered liquid, we could actually pipe the ethers from here into these without using normal pipes. We could use normal liquid, normal um, fluid pipes. We don't need to because of how we built this. But if you are building something like this yourself and you find that you are running out of space, you can go underground, you can throw fluid pipes in. They're on their own layer. You can pump ether. So, very useful, very useful. Remembering fluid pipes exist is something I forget a lot. Uh, but remembering they exist, very, very good. Very, very, very useful. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that road because now we need to come back here. And I do love the actually change the texture. I love, I love that. Always, always love. Uh, we want to grab all this up to here like this. Copy. No, we don't. No, we don't. We want to grab all of this up to this here, but not the road. So to there. Copy. There we go. Uh, no, that's still incorrect. 
I'm just gonna go. We want to do this side. <laughs> Up to the road. Copy. There we go. Okay. And then we'll paste this in so many times. Now we need, as you see down the bottom, it says cursor tool place group, which tells you exactly how much you need of each type of thing. So we need 200 blue coins, 450 mana brick, 300 reinforced planks, 72 mana pipes. Yes, yeah, so I was like, where are the mana pipes? Oh yeah, they're in the, um, they're in the, yeah, they're the recharging point. Uh, coins and coins, um, stone, wood, and logs. Now we have enough to place down one of all these, at least. And then I think we just need to wait for everything to rebuild. Yeah, we've only got 315 reinforced planks. So if I put one down, like this, we cannot afford to put down anymore. We are reinforced planks and we are logs down. So I've got to wait for them to rebuild, which hopefully they will do over time. And then I'm going to put the rest in and then we'll come back once I put the rest in because I need them all. We're not going to have them all running. I might ignore like this strip we just put in. I might ignore it and then do the next one, next one and just have one strip of each going until we can expand that later on. But um. Need to wait for that to work, and it looks like I'm going to have to cancel this copy and look at it because our reinforced planks are not going up. So let's not go off. Let's go and have a look at why reinforced planks are not going up. Where are reinforced planks being made? I think over here. Ah, hold on. Hold on. Are we storing reinforced planks? Yes, we are. Ah, oh, but we're only storing them if they're not being used. It's, it's like a surplus, isn't it? That's not what we want. Plus, we've got this what is this going on here you're coming out going into there got another pipe coming in from behind thinking here you've got no iron in you because you've got no iron ore yeah iron ore is a real pain here i think we might have to set up somewhere that's doing um you're doing iron for us aren't you but you've only got one worker in you you've got one worker and no boots so you'll just you'll just top off the iron as you need to uh, yeah, there's no one in here. Uh, I think what we might do is we might get rid of this. There we go. So now it's only feeding directly in. You're struggling for iron. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we're going to build a reinforced plank building setup somewhere. Uh, we have iron here, which I don't want to use because we can pump that into there. Um, let's go somewhere else on the edge of the map. Let's go over to where our this sort of thing is here, where we're just building little things for ourselves. Uh, we're storing stone, we're storing rails and things. Which, then this will be upgraded as well with uh, magic rails. So we need an enchanter over here and some fire stone. We'll bring that over. We only want to make 25 of them, so that's fine. And same for this. Uh, next is we're going to make ourselves, and next is we're going to make ourselves. But these two will just be made here. Just literally converting these up um, to it. I don't actually need to make any more um, metal conveyor belts. Which means we no longer need to make any gears. Um, in fact, I don't need to make anything here anymore. Um, although we do use rails in underground mining. So we'll probably leave the metal rail on. And just turn off gears and turn off conveyor belts. We don't want to make any more of those. We only need 25. Um, I do not need 100. And it only takes one rail to make one. So. And the enchanter is going to do the thing over here. We've all set up. But we do have loads of iron. And, um... Uh, yeah, we have iron going on here as well. We should go over to here, which is making us mana pipes. Yep. Um, what fuel for? coal that's coal coming in there okay so we've got coal coming in there okay so let's do it here let's do it here we need wood we have wood we can do it right here we can do it right here workshop workshop uh, put the workshop right here you want to make reinforced planks which requires lumber iron nails now nails we can also make just in here I'm going to take that to use my nails as well. Okay. 
And then we'll just go along the ground from here into there. Then you and do that. Then we'll go one above, do exactly the same like that. And the bottom one is going to be iron plates. The top one is going to be nails. And then we'll grab another barn. Put it here. And I'm going to upgrade this barn all the way. So you, 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 you. You, you, oh. you no longer upgrade barns. The, the button you used to upgrade barns. Click, 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 click. Uh, I can't upgrade it because we need more reinforced paint. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, then do that. And you'll send reinforced paints into this barn here. Upgrade. There we go. But now you can make all the reinforced planks we need just over time it's fine i'm not i'm not fussed about speed i don't think we spent any of these up anyway uh maybe the lumber mill we did a little bit no we didn't maybe this should oh this has got two work got a yellow coin boost right. and i feel like this needs to be boosted a little bit more uh, because it's now making nails as well so Anyway, that's filling up that's fine you're you're still making enough lumber i think yeah you seem to be doing fine okay and then this is going to start filling up with uh reinforced planks Over time uh, every now and then it flickers to nine i think that's because of our, our making stuff else the way but um but okay so i need to wait until we have enough resources to build the rest of this before we can progress anyway so i'll do that no no one let's 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 continue on a little tiny bit here i believe if we don't copy these we should be able to get away building it without loads of stuff then we can copy the ends on later so one two three four can't build it for any more wood. Where are we storing wood? Where are we storing wood for ourselves? Is that here? Here? No, it's not. Where are we storing wood for ourselves? We're clearly storing it somewhere because we've got up to 200 wood. I just don't know where we're storing it. Because um, I'd like to upgrade that bar. Yeah. Uh no, no trees there. That's not storing anything. Uh is it up here somewhere? I think I'm up here. No, nope, you're doing pipes. Okay, so I found it. Genuinely I've spent about fifteen minutes trying to find this barn. And and I was looking and I got to this point here. I must have looked over here like twenty times. But I looked at this one here and went, right, what's this? and I'm wondering is it the storage in the forests? No, because you can't use storage. Inside buildings, you can't, production buildings, you cannot use storage for your own use. So this number here does not include the, the stuff inside foresters. And then I remembered that this has its own forester, and there it is. There it is. We just need to upgrade this. So we're going to upgrade it. There you go. Um, and now you can uh, input into this going on here. So I'm going to change this up, which I think was mentioned uh, a while ago. We should have changed this up anyway. Um, so we're going to do this, which means that the actual forester is going to feed the barn first and then the production. That's fine. That's fine. Because this production isn't used that much. So that's fine. I kind of think I'm doing the same over here. this barn all the way as well uh, not that we're going to need 2,000 logs but I want it I want it <laughs> I want it so we're going to have it there we go Put on. so now I can come here copy this and paste it here Doof. and here Doof. and here once we get enough wood which should be pretty quick one, two, three, four, five. This will be six. 
then we need to go seven and then we need to go eight so we need to flatten down to basically where this pipe is oh the red coins oh the red coins i'm so sorry red coins you must absolutely hate me by now let's see if i can't get the camera a bit straighter find a flat bit of, find a flat bit which is here uh, line the bottom of the camera up with the grid but then I can just click and move the mouse and hopefully not get terribleness happening this zoom look at the heat through the point look at how quick the heat through the point Ooh. It is madness. It's 100,000 gone. Zoom. There you go. Okay, look back. I think that's good enough. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, at least remove some things here. But yeah, there's, there's a, there is a wonderful bloop. We've gone from 325,000 to 229,000. So almost 100,000 spent leveling. So now you can imagine how much it costs to level all of this. <laughs> we had 600,000 I think all gone all gone and then I had to wait some more for it to reload but we, we fell but there we go uh, oh and you got rid of that because when you find an area near a path it removes the path I'm not sure why it just does copy paste and do we need 210 long uh, or know what I've done uh, uh, on my on my journeys uh, through the wilderness um, uh, the river to the sea I think it's um, there was a forester in here that was making uh, reinforced planks uh, or just normal planks and I deleted it because I was like why is there there's 10 people here there's like, 20 people doing jobs over here that aren't doing anything not doing anything oh it was doing something it was doing something all right you idiot uh, why am I storing plank here here I'm storing planks. Let's upgrade this all the way. Bomb, there you go. Now please we'll just store a thousand planks. When we do big projects like this. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And boop. Copy. Paste. I love when stuff actually works this way. There you go. Eight. Job done. Awesome. Now all these back ones need to be trees. All these ones need to be uh cotton. I'm going to pause the game, because I really like it when they all grow at once. Boop. So let's increase the size of our brush, and we just click here, 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 and here, and do that in every single farm. And we do the same for the trees, but the trees are easier. We can just increase the brush size because the trees are uh, the entire length of the building. They fill in every gap, so it's much quicker. Kind of wish you could copy paste trees and 
the thing. I also really, really wish copy paste would copy paste everything because these have seven coin boosters on them. As does that one, as does that one, and this one has seven coin boosters on it, and none of these do. So, so let's bring this episode to a close here. And we will come back next time when I've added all the upgrades, all the coin boosters, uh, put in the other buildings we need. It's all just going to be copy and paste what's currently there. And then we'll turn it on and we'll watch it all explode. Because that's probably going to what's, that's probably what's going to happen, especially to my coin. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.